welcome back to my channel Uuma here thank you for tuning in if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber it's a delight to have you back my name is Uuma I film about faith my faith journey business and lifestyle from Portacot Nigeria if this is what you're interested in then you definitely want to keep on watching in today's video I'll be sharing a topic that I'm quite passionate about and it is the power of a mother's faith but before we dive right into it, I want to say give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and like. If you're seeing this face for the very first time, do subscribe to this channel. Share to a loved one, share to a sister, share to a mother. Because after this video, I'm sure they'll be glad they did watch this video. Thank you so much guys for staying tuned. Please keep staying tuned to this channel as we commence for the video for the day. Now the power of a mother's feet. Personally, I believe that the most important thing a mother can impact to the life of her child is her faith, especially if she is a believer, she's a Christian, she's born again, she has accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and personal Savior. She can impact her faith into the life of her child. Because a mother is a believer or is born again, doesn't necessarily mean that the children will automatically become believers. But as these children are raised in a godly manner, they get to get, they get to they find they, as time goes on, they are influenced by the faith of their mother. Even long after they have left their parents home when they, they are grown, they find out that their faith is firm and because they have imbibed some of the characters and the faith which the mother has, it has been passed from them to their parents. Their faith is firm and they are, sta and they are standing really strong. As always on this channel, I usually have an um, anchor scripture for my faith journey topics and my also faith topics. So without further ado, let's go to the scripture for the day for this topic. We'll be reading from Matthew 15 verse 21 to 28. Now from 21, then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Cana came from the region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lordship of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. That's verse 25. 26. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, when 28 now, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very uh, and her daughter was healed from that very hour. From this scripture, we can see that God in every generation has, you know, placed a woman, a mother, in every generation in a way that she has made impact and influenced the lives of the generation and people found within her at that particular period of time. In this verse, we saw the woman whose daughter was demon possessed and um, the devil was really tormenting the daughter and she cried out to our Lord Jesus Christ. Her faith was so firm. The power of her faith saved her child. The power of her faith healed her child. She was intentional about her seed. She was intentional about her child getting healed. She was intentional about her child moving from the disgusting level of state which she found her child in because of her faith. The power of a mother's faith has become a very great influence in the life of every child, as we can see from the scriptures. And there are some other scenarios where we find that the power of a mother's feet, and it's seen in the life of our, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, where she was told that she's going to conceive and give birth to a son. She did not object to it. She gladly accepted it and said, Be it done to me according to your word. And it came to pass according to her faith. It is important as mothers, we are great influence in the life of our children. And it is very vital that we stand, you know, in faith and, you know, speak those positive and filled, faithful words into the life of our children. Even when people feel that they cannot achieve things, 
will speak the fa- we, we, our faith propels our children to achieve things that they never felt they could achieve and sometimes we find out that our faith also encourages our children even when they feel they're not doing so well in school and you encourage them and start by them and speak those positive feel faith feel words in over them and tell them that they are succeeding we find out that they are actually things suddenly turn around i don't know if you have ever had that experience things suddenly turns around for them just because of the power of a mother's faith. This brings me to a story about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was sent back from school by his teacher saying that he was given a note saying that he was dumb and that he could not speak and they cannot do anything for him. When he got home and gave the note to his mom, because of the power of a mother's faith, his mother said, they don't understand my child. I will teach him myself. Because of the power of a mother's faith, she did teach Thomas Edison himself. And that is the reason why we have light today, because of the power of a mother's faith. That is the world transforming and world changing events we have in the world today, because of the power of a mother's faith. Thomas Edison's mother encouraged him. He spoke those words of wisdom, those positive faith filled words over his son, and ensured that the son succeeds despite when the teacher has already given up on the child. That is the power of a mother's faith. That is the great influence the power of a mother's faith has on the child. We see children succeeding in life today just because of the power of a mother's faith. With this, I'll say that the mother's faith is a great influence over the child. And the mothers, we need to be intentional about praying for our children. We need to be intentional about enabling them to have the word of God in sync in them, ensuring that they study the word of God consistently. We ensure that we build them in the most holy faith so that they can get to know the Lord, you know, from their very, very tender age. Because once this is done, it helps us a long way. It helps the community. It helps the nation at large. It helps people to be reached out in a, in a manner that there will be less reduction of crime in the society. The power of a mother's faith is an important you know, topic. I'm sure by now you guys will understand why I say this part, this, this is, it is so passionate in my heart because generations have been blessed because of the power of a mother's faith. You know, lives have been turned around because of the power of a mother's faith. Circumstances have been also been turned around because of the power of a mother's faith. Another example I'll give about the power of a mother's faith is Moses. When children were about to be killed at a particular age, Moses' mother put him in a basket hid his son in a basket and you know put him in the river so that the, the son because he knew that Moses was going to be a great man so that the son can escape and he will be he won't be hot because of the situation at the moment she had faith that her son would achieve it in life she had faith that her son would be successful in life so she had to go all the way to do that Mothers, let us be intentional about our seed. Let us be intentional about raising godly children. Let us be intentional about speaking faith with filled words over our children. We are so special in the eyes of God. And I believe it is God's desire that we have the God kind of faith. And when we have this God kind of faith, it motivates us. It influences the life of everyone that we find around us. And that is why the power of a mother's faith is a must for every, every mother. I want to encourage us, mother, let us stand on our feet. Let us not, not, let us not um, be weary in well-doing. Let us keep speaking those faith to positive words over the lives of our children. Let us also groom our children at an early age to know the Lord. And it will turn out so wonderfully marvelous for us. Thank you so much, guys, for this um, few moments and this period. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't watch this video without sharing to a, a sister, without sharing to a loved one, without sharing to a mother, you know, to know them that they need the God kind of faith. They need to be sure that the power of their faith is firm and they need to stand firm in their work with God. Because this way, the community at large is, you know, influenced positively. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you're watching this video, I'd like you to share in the comment section below. How has your faith impacted the life of your children? I'd like to hear your views about that. Please do share your comments. Do share your views and opinions about how faith has impacted, your power of your faith has impacted your children in every way.